international issues, but of course for international markets, which we do not control. So RLNG prices, which were extremely high, or in fact, RLNG was not available. Um, and why was it not available? Because uh, Ukraine was invaded. So we, in those who deal with energy, are uh, at the mercy of so many forces that we do not control. The reason I mention is that it's not just purely a matter of management, ladies and gentlemen. You have to be aware of where the world is going and you have to adjust accordingly uh, to forces that one does not control. And there is also this issue that uh, one positive part, which Engineer Asker just pointed out, is that we have this tremendous and profound cooperation uh, from our iron brother China uh, in so many projects that we have had uh, in the past year. We pushed uh, the delayed projects uh, with the effect that, alhamdulillah, uh, we first uh, put into operation uh, the Karot hydroelectric plant, 720 megawatts. Uh, probably our biggest achievement this year was the uh, commercial operation beginning of the Shanghai Thar Coal plant, uh, 1320 megawatts, uh, and of course uh, the K3 nuclear uh, was also inaugurated, 1100 megawatts. Uh, all these projects had been delayed, uh, to my mind criminally, uh, because of mismanagement between 2018 and 22, uh, but we have been able to now, alhamdulillah, all three uh, are operating commercially, uh, providing electricity to you and me daily. Um, so yes, there are some bright spots like CPEC, uh, there are uh, some dark spots like the price of electricity. Uh, so we have to walk this very difficult, uh, I would say a surveying tightrope, we have to walk it because tightrope uh, is not only difficult, it's all being swayed by international winds. Uh, so as I said, there are, there are three parts to the, to the energy landscape. Uh, but we also have to understand that in Pakistan we have gone through what you might call the four ages of uh, power generation. The first age, uh, which was in the 60s and 70s, uh, was the Heidel age in which we built the two large uh, hydroelectric dams at Mangla and Tarbela, and they served us for a long time, uh, but then by the end of 80s, uh, our demand had outstripped our hydro generation. Uh, so in the early 90s, uh, 